Well, I'd like to talk to you about our dreams, uh, team dreams in particular, and uh, team funds. These are our two websites, and if people want to know what we're about, uh, we're about empowering people to live their dreams. You know, that's what we say. We say, you know, if you have a dream, make it real with a team. And uh, it, it involves, of course, shared ownership and teamwork and a lot of things to it. But the bottom line is, what do you want out of life? Do you want to enjoy life? I mean, most of us are working too hard and don't have any time to enjoy it. Uh, you know, someday may come, but a lot of people think someday is way out there like a mirage. And we're saying we can do this now. And it's a good time to think about it uh, when we're a little quiet in the winter or quiet in the economy. It's a time to think about what is your dream? If you have a dream, come make it real with the team. Hi, I'm Mark Joyous, and I'm the founder of Team Dreams and Team Funds. Uh, these are great websites to resource networking people together to uh, create fun, fun happenings. We're focused right now on vacation homes because we figure if you can't share a vacation home, what can you share? It's a great way to enjoy things at a fraction of the cost. We, uh, we look at doing things, whether it's a home in Mexico on the beach or down in the Caribbean or up in the mountains of Colorado. We'll put five, six, maybe even eight people together in some affordable way of doing things. 25, 50 grand, 60 grand, finance it, have a lot of fun. A lot of people tell me, oh, this is something I always want to do with my family or my friends, but sometimes you can't quite get that together. You know, sisters pregnant, brothers unemployed, whatever. So you get together and work with us and we make it real. So that's kind of what we're about. And uh, a brief little understanding of what shared ownership. Shared ownership is the way I describe it. You take a house, a vacation home, and you treat it as if it was your own as if you had five brothers and sisters and mom and dad died and left you the house. You guys share it together. That's the crux of it. There's many ways to do it. Uh, you can do an LLC and we're, we're all sharing that. You can do a partnerships. You can assign weeks. I like it best where it's flexible, where we just say, hey, first come, first serve, and we work it out so that nobody's abusing the system. There's deeded fractional ownership, which can cost a little more, but you can actually get one-eighth deeds. The whole point of it is to have fun and do it now and, and quit putting off for someday. Um, you know, someday never comes for many people. I think that if you look in the mirror, how many hours do you really have to enjoy your spouse, your family? If you're old enough like me, <laughs> you've seen your kids grow and now bring them back with their grandkids. Let's have something fun to really do. And we're sure we want to help them with school and college and whatnot. But I've talked to so many people over the years that say, well, where's, when's my turn? You know, I got to pay this bill and that bill and where's something for me? And, and this is great because it's not just for you, but it's for your spouse. It's for your family. It's for your kids. It's for their kids. It's for the future. And I, I'm an old park ranger. Years ago I worked in, so I'm really about the planet too. I think it's not just one eighth or one sixth. Think about reducing your carbon footprint on this planet because we've got to start doing things differently in a lot of ways. And this is just one way. You're going to hear a lot more about shared ownership in the future, believe me, because uh, with prices and resources and trying to balance everything and to be a more green and sustainable economy, it's a, it's a natural. Uh, we have got a guy doing the figures, but it doesn't take much math to figure out that eight homes, sticks and bricks, is a whole lot bigger footprint than one home shared by eight people. So this is not timeshare. I want to make that clear right now. I'm not to knock timeshare. It's great for some people to have their one week or their two weeks a year that they just go and that's their thing. One thing I need to make really clear is this is not timeshare. I'm not knocking timeshare. It has its own place for the right people going to their hotel environment and you know enjoying that kind of thing. This is about family time. We're pretty much situated a little ways out of the busy, busy places, yet close enough to go to the beaches and the mountains and the whatnot. So we're not at all timeshare. It's, it's like we're related to timeshare the way a chimpanzee may be related to a gorilla or something, or, but not timeshare. I want to be clear about that. This is actual ownership. You own one-sixth or one-fifth or some portion of a real property that can be sold that turns into equity. Okay, And, you know, people ask about it as an investment. Fine. It depends on what you mean by the word investment. To me, it's an investment in your lifestyle. It's an investment having fun. If people come and say, well, hey, what can I do to make money? Uh, I say, well, go put it in some you know, gambling stock or whatever you want to do with it. This is for you. This is for you and your family uh, to create memories that last. So if you mean investment in terms of, hey, I want to have a place I go back to. Uh, we've got a place that my mom and, and, and dad and family owned for years. And everybody's moved now. We, we realize this. Everybody's moved to several houses over the past 15, 20 years. But that's the place we go back. That's what's called home now for us. We share that home. 
Um, you know, it's an investment in memories. It's an investment in your health. We know one guy uh, who, who has a share in something, and I asked him, you know, you ever going to sell that? He goes, no, that's my health insurance policy. I go, what do you mean? He says, well, even if I'm not using it, I have my pictures, and I know about it. It's up at my cubicle. It's in my car. If I'm stuck in traffic, I, I pull the visor down, and there's my picture of my place. I know it's my parachute. I go, it's my health insurance policy. I go, wow, that's kind of interesting. You know, he forces himself to, to go when you're, you're busy in your everyday life. You will take more time if you have this access. I was recently asked about the idea of, of shared homes, shared home ownership in other areas in terms of an exchange. That's a great question, and I told them, we actually are a network of 1,800 homes around the world and more every day uh, where you can actually face-to-face -face, or rather email-to-email -email with owners and set up a program to exchange. And it, it kind of brings up the topic, too, where I've had people say, well, I like this idea, I really want to do it, but I don't want to go to the same place all the time. Well, this is a perfect time to bring that up. First of all, there's two different ways to go places. You can go to drive to places, usually close to within a couple hours, two to four hours of where you live, draw a circle around your city, and there's fly to places. Those are special, you know, if you're into scuba diving or sailing or, you know, uh, skiing, whatever. So the point being, you can go and, and take your share and work it both ways. You can go to Europe. You know, if you have your house, some Italian guy may not want to just trade with you in your house on your street, but he may be willing to trade for your beach home or your mountain home. So this is something that can be evolved into a, a much broader thing than just your own share. So I'm glad we had a chance to put that question out. We do have an exchange program and it's very affordable. It's a, like an annual fee of $150 and then you work no other charges one-on-one -on -one with the owners. That's a great project. Now, people have also asked the difference between our websites. We have two websites right now, Team Dreams, which is where things start. Everything starts as a dream. Uh, the old saying is everything you look at right here in the world started out as an idea in somebody's mind. So if you have a dream, we say put it up on the Team Dreams site. It's totally free. You put it up. Guess what? When it happens, when it becomes real, it moves to the other website, Team Funds, because that's when you're having your dreams have turned into fun. And when it makes that exchange, it makes that crosses over that bridge, you who started that dream and posted that dream originally will make $1,000, even if you don't join the team. It may be that right now you want to do it, but in a year from now or something, your finances aren't ready. If you don't join the team, it doesn't matter. You still earn $1,000 because you posted it, you got it started. So we encourage everybody, if, if nothing else, it doesn't cost anything to dream. In fact, you might earn something. You may get $1,000 for starting a dream. And we've got everything on there from tree houses in Thailand to fancy homes and, you know, all price ranges. So uh, let yourself dream and go at it, you know. Another thing is a lot of people will enjoy having more than one, multiple. I thought I was the only crazy one. When we got into this, a lot of the people we work with are into several places. They want a beach place, a mountain place. Well, instead of sp spending three, four, five hundred thousand 500000 on some fancy home in one place that you're going to have to take good care of, it, all the liability, all the cost, everything, it's on you. Why not put fifty grand over here, sixty grand here, finance these things, and have your beach place, your mountain place. You have all these access to different kinds of living and lifestyles, and you probably haven't spent as much as you would in that one home. So people ask about how that evolves into fun investments. On the team funds side, again, I don't like to use the word investment, but yes, it'll probably go up in value someday. And yes, we, we quite often do some rentals to where it defrays the cost of utilities and whatnot, and you might even get a little dividend. But I don't push that. I don't think it's smart to push that. No one knows. Look at the economy. We've had ups and downs the past few years. You know, if you're not doing this for fun, don't come in and do it. That's why we call team funds fun. That's when you're having real fun and you go out and enjoy it. And uh, if you may be close to home where you can get to it, uh, or maybe you only go a couple times a year if it's further away. But the point is to have fun.